let's dive right in. Today we're going to be talking about the fact that the Convert to Dual Mesh feature that exists for the tissue add-on in Blender 2.83 and earlier versions has not yet been ported to 2.90. So many of the tutorials that I've made that create something like graphene or a fullerene from an icosphere or carbon nanotubes make use of the Convert to Dual Mesh feature. And if I were to grab this cube right now, use the search bar and then look for that, you would see I don't have that. And if I actually search for Dual Mesh, I don't have that either. Now, Tissue does still exist in 2.9, so you can come to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and simply look for Tissue, and it is clearly here. However, you can actually still make use of some of the features by simply coming to Edit and Tissue Tools, and now you'll see options for Tessellate and Dual Mesh. If you're more interested in how these features work and in some of the other incredible things Tissue can do, I encourage you to look up Alessandro Zamparelli, the gentleman who developed this tool, I believe with a team, but he has a good number of explanations. For our purposes though, we're going to show how you can actually get around the problem with tissue. And so you'll notice there, this is actually throwing an error. When you interact with convert to dual mesh and dual mesh, when you delete things, it doesn't actually usually take it that well. It throws errors, they're not a huge problem, but they do exist. So normally, if I were going to add a plane for graphene, scale it up five times and subdivide it a few times, from here, I could actually just either convert to dual mesh and get the hexagons I want, and we'll just set this up so you can see it in object mode. But what I can now do is I can grab the plane and use the dual mesh function. That's going to add a dual mesh version, a component that it's using to create it based on the original plane, and it keeps the plane. So we would have to hide the plane, and now you can see this is actually the object we wanted. This works just fine for planes. It will also work to some extent not necessarily that well for cylinders, for carbon nanotubes, but the one area that it sort of falls apart is on icospheres. And so if I want to make the sort of 80 point fullerene object that I've used before, if I try and just do dual mesh and hide the icosphere, you can see this geometry is sort of hectic and all over the place. It's not those nice hexagon features. What I'm going to do is actually show you sort of the underlying steps of what tissue is doing. You can see I'm getting these errors again. I'll delete all of these. And what I'm going to do is just show you how tissue is roughly working and how you can get around it in 2.9 if you want to actually recreate the specific objects that make use of that convert to dual mesh function. The easiest way to do this is just to go back to 2.83, which you can still download from blender.org. But if you want to work in the latest version, this is sort of the quick version. So we've added our plane, we're going to subdivide, make a few cuts here. And now we're going to come to the modifier properties and we're going to add two modifiers and leave the default settings. The first is a triangulate. And again, we will actually change the viewport display to show the wireframe. And the next one is a subdivision surface of one. So one in the viewport, two in the render, doesn't matter. We're going to apply this as a one in the viewport. So once we go ahead and actually apply both of these modifiers, and I actually have modifier tools enabled, so apply all, you can now see we have all of those hexagons with a few extra points. When I zoom in, what we're going to do is simply deselect everything, hit one to select only verts, grab the middle vert here, hit shift G and choose select similar by amount of connecting edges. That will select all of the center ones. Then you can simply hit X and dissolve the vertices. Similarly, for the points in between, select one and only these points in between have two. So shift G, amount of connecting edges again, X and dissolve those vertices. Do not delete them, that will get rid of all the geometry, but just dissolve them. And again from here, as we would in the previous version of this in 2.83 or earlier, simply select everything, R, Z, 45 degrees, minus 45 degrees actually in this case, and then S, Y, and 0.6. And then you would simply select the faces that you want to keep, invert that selection, and delete the ones that you don't want and this would give you the basic approach. This also works for the Echospheres quite nicely, so I'll go ahead and I'll add in a simple Echosphere. We will, once again, add in a triangulate and a subdivision surface of one, apply both, and this time it's just a little bit different. We're essentially going to do the same thing where we have to grab this center point, and this has six connecting edges, so Shift-G, amount of connecting edges, delete those verts, or dissolve those verts, rather, and then for the ones that have five connecting edges, do the same thing, amount of connecting edges, dissolve the vertices. Finally, for these last ones, you can, once again, same process, 
dissolve those. And then what I usually like to do is hit A to grab the whole model, Shift, Alt, and S, and then just type 1 for 2 sphere, and that just cleans it up a little bit. Again, this is the 80 vert version. If you want the 60 vert version, just use Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and all you would want is Geodesic Dome. So Add Mesh Geodesic Dome, and then you can use the settings. I'll put a link in the description for the relevant tutorial. That is something that I'm really hoping will be resolved. I'd love to see the return of the Convert to Dual Mesh feature in a 2.9 updated version of the Tissue Add-on, but if you need to get around it for now and you're committed to using 2.9, those are the steps to carry that out. One thing that I will take the time to promote here is the fact that I have been releasing a series of free assets on Gumroad. So if you want carbon nanotubes pre-made and quite modular, or graphene, or fullerene, those are all available and you can actually find all of them for free on Gumroad under the name CG Figures. So if you're modeling these, you don't necessarily have to. If you're interested in modeling them, this is how you do it. And with that, as always, thanks for coming out. If you found this useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues, and until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.